Hello, ladies and gentlemen of Art of Conquest. It's Smash Mode. Um, I'm gonna dedicate this video to one of my favorite players who who quit the game today. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry to see you go. I'm not gonna say his screen name, but I will just say H2O. Uh, you'll be missed, man. It was it was enjoyable. We uh, had some good times. <laughs> So I'm going to get right into this. Now I have a ton of ideas for what I think could make this game more enjoyable. But these are my top three. Now number one is more for, more for the company as well as the players. All these items are useless. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know I had that many... I could have leveled up one of my heroes recently. I didn't even know these XP's were all the way down here. I mean, look at all this. Look at it. What I would like to happen someday would be a crafting system. Not unlike uh, Diablo. <laughs> uh, I think even Ebony, uh, the first game that I recall that seemed somewhat similar to these eventually had a, a crafting system. Um, it just would make it exciting. Maybe if you just needed one more blue dust or one more epic dust to make that item you've always wanted for your, for your favorite hero. And that would add something to the game. Not to mention the company, you could do your little crafting bundles. Make a little bit of money there. Second... I get too many messages from players saying, why don't you pick on somebody a little bit more powerful? Um, you know, some use colorful language. <laughs> Very colorful language. Um, right now, I come to an issue where I'll look at multiple players. And let's say this level 11 has the same exact loot as this level 15 or extremely similar. How many players are going to attack the level 15? There is no logical reason for us to not go for the easier target. I think it would add so much to the game if there was a diminishing return on attacking people who are lower castle level than you. Now, I don't know where that threshold would begin. I don't know if it would be 10% for, you know, two levels below you or whatnot, but some type of incentive to want to pick a more challenging target. I don't know how that could be done. Now, my number one is just content in general. I, I mean, I have so many ideas for just increasing PvE content, maybe even some type of random world bosses, random encounters, uh, optional random encounters, of course. What about a little, a little PvP island where you go on the island and you keep trying to own people of the same castle level with your army, and whoever gets the most wins before they get knocked off the island gets an amazing prize. You get to keep battling over and over again. And yeah, once you get knocked off, that's it. You're done for the day. Um, increasing the map could add to that as well. I will say in closing that Art of Conquest has one of the most exciting starts to most of these war games I've played. It is so enjoyable. And at about level 17, the fun seriously drops off. Before my base got owned, I was just thinking to myself, like, what am I doing? <laughs> I would just go around, you know, attack a couple targets to, uh, you know, just increase my loot a little bit so I could stare at it in the castle. But really, there wasn't, there wasn't much going on. These are a few of my ideas. I'd hate to see the rest of the players that I have formed a bond with, that I enjoy 
spending video game time with leaving because they don't have anything to do anymore. I thank you all for watching. To the Art of Conquest devs, you have a great beginning. Let's make it a great end as well. Or a great finish. I don't know. I'm not good with words. Thank you all Smash for watching. Mode. Have a great day!